everyone, and welcome to your Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine check-in. As we all know, there's been so, a lot of heaviness, a lot of change, a lot of contrast, a lot of challenge in the last few years of our lives. And as we move through this, as we heal from this, as we continue to pray and uplift all that need it, it's really important that we focus our vision on new beginnings, happiness, joy, peace. Because when someone doesn't have inner peace, things become chaotic. And it all starts from within. The best thing that we can all do is heal, keep ourselves aligned, open our hearts, to the people that need it and keep moving forward. And this new moon in Gemini energy brings in curiosity, a newness. How can I do something a little bit different than I've been doing and make it better and make it work? And that's, that's what the Gemini energy is. Being logical, but also bringing your heart into it is important. I feel, always feel with Gemini being the twin energy. It's the duality. The duality of humanity, shadows and light, and bringing it together for a new, fresh perspective. And I'm sending you all so much love. What gateways spirit are opening for the divine feminine? And we are in this reading going to explore like past impressions with the impressionist tarot. Like this past few years, how has it made an impression on the feminine and masculine? And, and what's working to manifest moving forward in this new energy as we close the eclipse portal and Mercury retrograde will go or is going to end on June 2nd and Mercury will go direct on the 3rd. And I feel like there's going to be some major things happening. So are you ready, right, is what Spirit is saying, because it's time to fly free. I unfurl my wings and fly, flying free. You have freedom, Divine Feminines. You have freedom and peace with that white bird. Spirit's coming and taking you to more peaceful times. Rising above the chaos, the contrast, the challenges of life, which this life will always bring because it's the way we planned it. We may not always understand what happens and why it happens, but we always have a choice to, to spread the love and light. We always have a choice to rise up, even when it's hard. And it's time to free yourself from any self-imposed limitations, um, any fears that are holding you back because that's all an illusion. So there's a freedom, <clears throat> a freedom energy coming in for you, Divine Feminines. What about for the Divine Masculines? What gateways opening? Planting seeds. Seeds of grace are being planted in the fertile soil of my soul. So Divine Masculines, the seeds that you've been planting, the things that you've been thinking about, your intentions that you've been watering, they will grow. You're being given the gift of grace. And it's a fertile time for manifestation. It's a fertile time to move forward on those plans. Um, there's fertile times ahead. And with this bird, I feel like, you know, in the Gemini energy, it's some kind of communication. And it almost feels to me like divine feminines you're getting on and seeing thing getting on this you know bird taking flight literally you may be going on a flight and visiting someone right visiting the masculine perhaps and it's like you're flying you're flying there over water and like you know how the farmers have the um are they the crop planes and they water the it almost seems like that kind of energy like working together your energy is working together what else is being open for the feminine Rising above, yeah, exactly what I was feeling. I see only beauty and grace. Rising above it all. Rising up from the mucky, murky waters of the last few years. And seeing the light being reborn again. 
There's a freedom in that. And for the masculine, awakening ancient wisdom, deep inner knowing is emerging within me. So for the sacred masculine at this time, I feel a lot of the energy that's shifting is internal. And for the feminine, you've been working on yourself internally for quite some time, and now you're rising up and it's, it's more of an external feeling freedom. You feel it inside, but now it's extending out into your, into your world as the masculine awakens, fills their cup, plants these seeds, waters these seeds with their cup. You see that? Very wise, realizing that, okay, yeah, I can take these ideas and I can do something a little different. And here's that golden opportunity. Here's that grace, right? The seeds of grace. With the angels and ancestors cards, we're just going to see who is with the feminine and masculine at this time, helping to guide you through this freedom, awakening, rising above. Who's with the feminine at this time? And look at that, mirror guardian and broken arrow come out together. Okay, mirror guardian definitely makes me think the Gemini twin energy or mirror reflection. It's time to reflect, right? As we close out Mercury retrograde, it's perfect time to reflect. Whenever you're listening to this, it's the perfect time to reflect, right? Time is an illusion here. Take the time. What have you learned? When you look in the mirror, what are you telling yourself? What do you see? And then here's the broken arrow. Embrace the energy of peace. Things that were broken are being mended. Things that didn't work out for you were not meant to work out for you because there's something better. Take time to reflect on what you've learned through this process. And you have a guardian angel with you that's helping you, protecting you to um, fix the broken pieces. When you decide to really reflect on what you've learned and all that murky water, the contrast, the challenge, the change, the shadows, the darkness, and you bring it to the light, you transmute it to the light and you heal. It is like you're a whole new person and it's a whole new world that you're living in. That's the idea of the new earth, transmutation, transformation, healing, and then rising up and then and you're free. So peace is, is coming to you for sure if it hasn't entered your life already. And what about for the masculine here? Summer and hold the space. Okay, so there you have masculines. You have this very wise druid energy holding space for you. So when you need to go within and you need to reflect and connect with this ancient wisdom that's awakening in you. This druid energy is there helping you as a guide. It could be an ancestor, a loved one, but it's, it's a guide for sure. This guide is with you, helping you to direct you in the next steps. And then look at this. So we have this awakening ancient wisdom with this druid energy. And then we have the summer, bask in joy and light. Summer is at least over here, depending on when, when you're, where you're at, when you listen to this, but it's um, coming up here really soon. We're entering the summer season, getting busy, being productive, enjoying the sweetness of light, life, basking in joy and light, working as a team like the bees work together. They protect the queen bee, right? Protecting the queen, protecting your prize. And these seeds of grace are being planted in the fertile soil of your soul and it's time to bask in the joy, bask in the happiness. Something coming into fruition this summer that you've been working on, these seeds are going to grow. So stay, stay busy, keep yourself busy, keep going, 
Don't, don't give up. Things are changing. And we're also approaching the 666 portal, which is about beauty and blessings, reciprocity, peace, balance. Things that have been broken and out of whack are coming into balance. The year of 2022 is the year of the six. It's time for it. It's time. So with this Impressionist Tarot spirit, can you help us out? What is the main energy for the Divine Feminine of what the Divine Feminine has been learning? What has made the biggest impression on the Feminine? What is, this fem what is the Feminine reflecting on? Whoa, you see this, you guys? <laughs> what is the feminine reflecting on? The empress and the emperor? Male and female authority figures. Mothers, fathers. You are a mother, you are a father. This is a reflection on what you've learned from your mother and father. It can be divine mother, divine father, because it's the spiritual aspects of the feminine and masculine reflecting on a new cycle, reflecting on where control needs to be released and where you need to take control. Wow, that's fascinating. So reflecting on all aspects of yourself because we all have feminine and masculine energies and also reflecting on the sacred feminine and sacred masculine. like learning about the how how these energies can be distorted and and brought to the light and that's how you free yourself broken families healing from that wow okay that's a uh, pretty powerful for the feminine's reflection and what's made an impression on you well there's been a particular feminine particular masculine it could be grandparents could be parents but have left a big impression on you. And also what I'm feeling is the feminine may be thinking about your count, you may be thinking about your counterpart, like coming together. What does that look like? The feminine holds the key. Wow, okay, so we're gonna look this up because that's major energy uh, coming through. And we're just gonna get a little bit on what this energy is from this impressionist. So. People have left a pretty big impression on you. This can be authority figures. It can be, you know, politics, whatever you're, whatever you've been focused on. So, um, Boldini is, uh, Giovanni Boldini is who created these. It's not my fault if I am so old. It's something which has happened to me all at once. So feeling the aging process, feeling like you've lived many lifetimes in this lifetime, feminines. Oh, I, I hear you there, okay? I, I hear you there. We find the Empress wherever we experience the beauty of art. We see her on stage and screen, hear her voice on waves of sound, and recognize her touch in the marble halls of galleries and museums. Like Venus, the goddess of love and beauty, the Empress is everywhere we look. So it's learning, reflecting, and learning to see the beauty in everything, right? Like Venus, the Empress is fond of fresh flowers, fine wine, and five-star dining. She creates a life of sumptuous opulence that reflects her romantic ideals. When she glides into a tarot reading, she gently reminds you that your physical surroundings serve as a reflection of your personal values too. If you see a disparity between life, the life you want and the life you've created for yourself, it's time to make the correction. If, okay, so it's time to, to focus on love, beauty, happiness, desire, pleasures, and comfort instead of the opposite. And the emperor from Van Gogh, for the, for the great doesn't happen through impulse alone. 
and is a succession of little things that are brought together. So it's all the little things. Feminine's been focusing on all the little things that have brought you to the place that you are now. That's what spirit wants you to reflect on. It's not always about big giant things. It's about all the little things that you've been doing. All those things that you didn't think were important, very important. And you're, you're learning that. That's helping you find your balance. The emperor is the master and commander of all he surveys. Like the landscape that stretches out around him, he sees the big picture. His vision is global and far-reaching. He is a man of thought and strategic planning. He assesses information and acts accordingly. When the emperor takes charge in a tarot reading, you must challenge authority, even if that authority is your own. Consolidate your power and think strategically with your head, not with your heart. Most importantly, don't rest on your laurels. This is a time for action. Leadership, authority, confidence, control, reason, and logic. And that's the Gemini energy. And when you mix the masculine and feminine, it's the perfect balance. It's, you're the perfect mirror reflection of one another. Wow. Okay, now let's see what about the masculine. <laughs> That's, uh, that's, wow, that's very fat. I mean, it's, I don't know if you guys feel it. I know I'm wowed over here, but that's some pretty strong energy and it's really good for the feminine to reflect on this. What have you learned from the feminines and masculines in your life? What are you learning from these authority figures? You know, who, who is really telling the truth that speaks to your soul and who's full of crap and it's letting go of, of those different energies within you and around you and opening up to a new cycle where you know you can control yourself and the things that you do and the way you react, but you can't control other people. And, and there's wisdom in that. And what about for the masculine? What's the main energy that's left an impression? So I feel like what's going on in the world, you, the, the divine feminine has definitely, definitely been feeling it. And, and authority is, is definitely something to do with that. Look at this. What has left an impression on the masculine, the magician, and the freaking four of wands? <laughs> I mean, wow. So what, what's been on the masculine's mind is, how can I change things? All these people in this world are making these various decisions and they are manifesting. It is working, but I want to manifest peace and balance and stability. How can I do that? How can these seeds get me to where I want to go? And as Apollo walks out and, and sits somewhere else, it's like, that, which is interesting because he was under the desk and now he's sitting by the door. It's like, how can I get out from under things? How can I help humanity? How can I help my family first? How can I help myself even? So it starts with the masculine, I feel it starts really big. Like, oh my gosh, what's going on in the world? And how is this all happening? And how can I make a difference? How can I help my family, the people around me? And then how can I help myself? How can I better myself? And then taking charge, to the masculines taking their power back. What's made an impression is magic. Realizing how powerful they are. And when they feel balanced and peaceful, mind, body, heart, and spirit, masculine and feminine, that everything is easier. Something has happened or is about to in the masculine's world, some kind of manifestation that they never really thought was going to happen or they've been working at it for a long time and wondering when it was going to happen and it's going to happen. This is a new home, stability in the home, 
building something in the community. But this is manifestation. What's left an impression on the masculine is that they have the power to change things. And using this wisdom, using infinite intelligence to have this stability and celebrate. And it's the masculine and feminine coming together. New beginnings, new fresh energy with the magician. And this is, and if I, I, excuse me if I say this incorrectly, but Paul Gogwin, it is so small a thing, the life of a man, and yet there is time to do great things, fragments of a common task. And, and again, back to, it's all about the little things, right? All the little things you're doing, all the steps you're taking forward, make the puzzle. Masculines are realizing this. The tarot's magician, like the mythic trickster, is a master of time and space. He can appear and disappear in the blink of an eye, change form at will, and convince you that the truth is merely relative. This card corresponds to Mercury, the messenger god, who is also known as Hermes. It's interesting to note that Mercury's own quicksilver child, Hermaphroditus, was gender fluid. The first Hermaphrodite, he was born from Hermes' love affair with Aphrodite. Mercury rules Gemini, the dual sign of curiosity and versatility, as well as Virgo, the singular sign of duty and responsibility. Mercury also rules the third house of communication and the sixth house of service to others. So those are all of the things that are coming together for the masculine. Like, okay, I can be curious. I can be versatile, right? But I do have a responsibility to myself and others. And I need to communicate better and communicate more clearly and be of service to others. So they're really opening up to their humanitarian side of themselves. When the magician materializes in a tarot reading, it is a call to make room for magic in your life. You have the power to transform the world through the sheer grit and determination. You could even create a new reality. Come on. Oh, yes. So really using their willpower to direct the flow, release control, only control what you can. Very similar energy to the emperor. Wow. And the four of wands, Manet. No one can be a painter unless he cares for the painting above all else. I feel with the four of wands being that card is the masculine really cares about the feminine, the divine feminine, their partner their twin, their soulmate, the other part of them. In myth and legend, Venus and Mars were passionate lovers. She was the goddess of desire and he was the god of passion. She was married to another man, but that didn't matter. Their attraction was undeniable. Whenever Venus passes through Mars' sign, their love affair continues. The Four of Wands illustrates the close connection between the two planets. The Four of Wands is the card of wedded bliss. It can also herald other family-focused celebrations like bridal showers, bachelor parties, housewarmings, and christenings. Stability, harmony, happiness, and union. That is what the masculine is focused on manifesting. Wow. And at the bottom to tie to tie the masculine and feminine together is the nine of cups. Look, masculine and feminine sitting at a table, having a few drinks near the water, wish fulfillment, dreams coming true. That's the underlying energy. That's what's made an impression is the love, 
the dreams. I feel like this reviving of dreams that you once had, wishes, goals, ideas, and they're being brought back to life again. And, and unions are coming together. If you're not in the physical, I feel like that is what's manifesting. This physical meeting. And if you are with someone currently, there's this new energy and this newfound stability that's coming in. And right under that's the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, destiny, legacy. And again, two people together. And they're not all like this. So this is the seeds of intention. This is what you're moving towards. You want to change things in this world? It starts with you. You are the change. Each and every one of us. So money. Money is left an impression. The way the world is spending money. Government. Uh, the way different people live out their legacy. That's made a big impression on both the masculine and feminine. And I feel like with this horse, it's like, no, we're going to set ourselves free from any traps, from any lower vibrational energy, from brokenness, and we're going to move forward together. I mean, I, that's what I'm really feeling from this. So there's a lot of stability coming in. And what's working to manifest then? Because there is this togetherness. I mean, you see, Emperor and Empress, the Four of Wands, the Knight, there's, you know, two people in this, like it's, you know, part of your destiny. Okay. What is working to manifest for the masculine and feminine moving forward then? Wow. The emperor, the three of pentacles and the four of wands. I mean, whoa. Two confirmations in the first three cards out, and there's not that many of these. That That's um, big, you guys, that's big. The emperor, focused, in control, taking charge, balanced, stable, leader. So action. And then we have this Three of Pentacles energy, which is collaboration, project, creative project, coming together in the material world, collaborating, getting together, something that you've been doing on your own will be much more efficient if you ask for help, if you get together with someone else. And this could be building that new home, um, you know, bringing more stability into the home but there's some kind of collaboration coming together in the material world. And then we have the four of wands, which is weddings and bliss and celebration, stability, a new home, stability in the home, something changing. I mean, wow. Balance, these are balance. There's balance coming. I feel like you've been going at things alone and you're not gonna have to anymore or you felt like you were doing it alone and it's it's changing. Now look at that. The wheel of fortune. The wheel of destiny. Facing the serpents, the snakes in the grass, the demons, the fears, and getting this wheel turning in your favor. your destiny. Bask in joy and light. I mean, that is coming. There's a fortunate shift happening right now. Even if you, we can't see it, even if we don't realize it, even if it feels like how could that even be possible with all that's happening in the world, this is what's happening. And then here's the new idea, the curiosity of the Gemini energy, doing something new, learning something new, a new path childlike and look at that the giant strawberries and the giant flowers talk about your seeds of intention growing yes 
Follow your curiosities. That's what spirit wants you to do. There's something new in the material world that's going to be presented to you or an idea that's going to come to you. It could even be building houses, making something, beautiful windows. I mean, whatever this is, it is part of your destiny. And you may learn, be learning something new, doing something new, which is always good, right? It's always good to do something new. What else can you tell us about this, this idea, this opportunity, this fortunate shift, this stability coming in? Look at that. Giant flowers watering the seeds of intention. The seeds that you're planting, that you've planted, are going to grow big time. Pay attention to the details. Read over the documents. Be a master of your craft. Take your power back. You have the control here. And it's your positive, beautiful intentions that are going to make this grow. Whatever this idea is, whatever this opportunity is, it's going to grow. And be very, very fruitful. And I feel like the flowers are here, right? And the strawberries, and then there's giant flowers, a whole bunch of them. It could be an idea or something that you either didn't follow through with before or is is a new way of looking at it remember we talked about that from the beginning like a new fresh perspective and then everything changes anything else spirit anything else look at that another page energy page of wands the new path, a new spark, a new passion. Spirit, it's coming through big time. Follow this, okay? Reflect, rise above, free yourself. Fill your cup. Ask your ancestors and the angels and spirit for help. Water those seeds of intention. Focus on happiness and joy and be in the light because there's this new energy that it just want, it wants to light you up. And then there's the confirmation of the Empress. I mean, wow, you guys. Creation, ascension, expansion, divine timing. It's time. It's time. And here, here's the Emperor and Empress and this Four of Wands. And with the Wheel of Fortune, it's part of your destiny. That's major confirmations here, okay? Major. And at the bottom is death. Death of the old and a rebirth of something beautiful, of something new. Your final message is, we're going to do the Star Seed Oracle. If you didn't listen to the messages from the Palladians that I posted on Saturday, I encourage you to do so. There were some beautiful messages there. And just look back on videos, whatever you're guided to. It'll help you through these times. That's why I do this. And look at this. Abundance. Yes. When your heart's intention is to serve humanity, doors of abundance naturally open. Share the love, share the light, share the resources, share your knowledge, share your wisdom, follow your heart, and abundance is yours in all forms. Transcendence. Transcend your mind's limitations and allow your soul's light to truly shine. That rising above, flying free, courage. Live your life fearlessly with courage, strength, and determination. Yes, you've got this. You've got this. Let's get a couple more. Light. Look at that. It's time to reveal your radiant light to the world. It's time the world needs you. The world wants you and wants your light. Okay? Never fear shining that light. Have courage. Believe in yourself. And look at that, flying free is our first message and our last message is freedom. Follow your heart and nurture your soul with love and freedom to grow. Oh, I 
love it. I'm, I'm sending you guys um, so much love, so much light, healing energy. I'm here. You're not alone.